Hi, it's Craig here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, just a quick update. If you've missed it today, you have missed some big, huge Sony camera news uh, over on their Facebook page. They had a live event today where they announced a new camera. And guess what? It's got a tiltable screen. Uh, moving swiftly on to the reason why you're probably watching this video is the big news that the A6400 will be getting released by Sony. We've not been given a release date yet. All we know so far is that it will be a 20.2 megapixel Bion X processor APS-C camera still using E-mount. So if you've got E-mount glass, if you've got uh, E-mount adapters to fit your EF lenses, all of that will still work. So pretty much still in line with the five fundamentals that Sony uh, kept banging on about that they uh, put into every camera they design. It's gonna be a light uh, way, it's gonna have a great image. Uh, so this brand new APS-C camera is gonna come with animal uh, IAF, it's gonna come with improved autofocus. It's still gonna shoot 11 frames per second like the A6300. Uh, plus the big news that all Sony camera uh, users will be more interested in and I think they're going to be targeting um, the like new uh, customer base here with uh, this new feature is a 180 degree tiltable screen. For ages, if you're not a Sony camera user, like for ages, me included, a lot of cam uh, Sony users have been complaining about how when they're doing videos to YouTube, if they're uh, doing vlogs, if they're trying to take selfie pictures, they're not able to see what their composition is. They kind of just have to aim and guess or you have to use a, a monitor to rig up to something so you can see what's on the back of your camera. Now, just like the old A5000, which this camera is sort of kind of replacing, the A5000, the A6000 is now discontinued and they're bringing this new APS-C camera in. The A5000 had a tiltable screen. So now we're gonna be able to see what we're, what we're filming, which is great, it's fantastic. And it's going to be touchscreen, which is something the A6300 doesn't have. So if you think about what the A6300 and the A6500 has, the A6300 has 4K, it has slow motion, it doesn't have touchscreen, it's still got the same screen as the A6500, and it doesn't have image stabilization, whereas the A6500 has the whole kit and caboodle. The A6500 has touchscreen, it has uh, image stabilization, 4K, slow motion in HD, uh, S-Log. So what I'm imagining is that this A6400 is that sort of middle ground. It should, I imagine it will still have 120 frames per second HD, but we'll need to find out. I'm imagining it will have S-Log. Again, we're gonna need to find out. It's gonna have a touch screen and it's gonna be tiltable, which is a bonus. Uh, it'll shoot 4K, again another bonus, and it'll shoot HDR, HDR 4K on a, a, a camera that's under uh, 1200 uh, euros, or in my case probably like 1200 quid, or $900 US, which I'm thinking it said. Let's have a look at, I'll bring up the screen grab on the screen just now so we can have a look. $900 for the body in the US. I don't know how you guys get it for cheaper, but hey ho. Because even then, if I bought that and shipped over here, it would probably still be cheaper. So it's 1050 euros for the body in Europe, uh, which will be about just over a uh, uh, thousand quid here, or $900 in America. Again, this is gonna be a really good camera for, uh, for, uh, for social media influencers, YouTubers, uh, for people just starting out making their own creator, uh, uh, making their own video content and photo content because it still shoots 11 frames per second. It's got that improved uh, um, eye autofocus, autofocus features. It's got the, the latest sensor and uh, image processor in there. So if you're an A9 user, you will by uh, March and summer 2019, you'll have a new free upgrade, which will give you Improved AIF, IF for animals. So big news if you uh, take a lot of video or, or photos of your pets, if you're a wildlife photographer, if you work with charities or whatever to do with animals, uh, that'll come in very handy to give you really quick 
picture so you can concentrate on your composition. The next thing is improved autofocus uh, for fast moving objects. Again, brilliant if you're a videographer, you will be able to uh, focus more on how your f shot and your frame looks uh, and let the camera sort of help you out with the autofocus a little bit. Um, the eye autofocus will let you uh, prioritize left eye, the right eye, and uh, or both eyes. Um, and that's pretty much it for the A9. Let's just check. Yep, that's it for the A9. The last thing that they had to update us with was some improved apps, especially the mobile apps, which will help uh, a lot of creators be able to get photos from their phone quicker. You can add the uh, description details, I think I saw in the video, maybe a bit of metadata. Uh, metadata. Uh, and it al allows uh, professional photographers to FTP, uh, which is a form of delivering um, images to uh, media outlets and newspapers and things like that quicker and more efficiently without having to go through a laptop. Which again is kind of beneficial to see how good it is compared to things like uh, FileZilla and um, uh, Lightroom. Uh, adding that kind of data in. Uh, there's also uh, improved updates to the desktop apps which are the remote and the image um, and what was it called? Image enhancing, image edge. Uh, anyway, it's the, 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 the Sony version of uh, Lightroom basically to edit your ARW raw files uh, that Sony uh, makes. So for me that's quite good as well because I actually use the remote um, feature to do these videos because I can't see the back of my uh, camera and that helps me uh, do the uh, to, to see my composition and make sure I'm doing it. So you'll be able to use the new improved apps which is hopefully going to have a lot more uh, smoother operation um, and allow you to tether. So whether you're a photographer or videographer you'll be able to tether straight to your desktop. Thank you so much for watching this short video uh, about the A6400. It's very exciting news. I cannot wait to get a hold of this camera. Hopefully I'll be able to rent it down the line as uh, we get more information. Uh, and I'll keep you guys updated as well. So if you want to find out more about the A6400 or any other camera gear um, updates as the year goes on, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, in between those, I've got tons of filmmaking tutorials, color grading tutorials, editing tutorials, things that'll help you get up and go and create your own video content quickly and uh, the way you like it, that you can help tell your own stories. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of that, and I'll see you in the next video.